Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with lots of people, so how about we just name off... Chase. Carlton. John. Mike. Christy. Pamela. That was Pamela, just in case. Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> Not Pamela. Maybe you and Mike should change places. <laughs> oh, that is true. I generally am farthest from the mic for a certain reason, yeah. You can't control your loud. I can't control my loud. You choose not. I'll do the best I can to to control my loud today. I'll, pr- I'll okay. try. Do my best. What are you drinking tonight, Pamela? Red Trolley by Carl Strauss. Oh, that's good stuff. Some red ale. Yeah, it's lovely. I think. Yeah. So, a lot of people will conflate anarchy with with chaos. What do you think about that? Hmm. I think they're right. And I think, though, they're right, but they bring fear along with it because they've been taught that um, chaos is something to be feared when it's really something to be enjoyed. Embraced. It's, it's embraced. Embrace it's a creative the chaos. process. I it's, see. It's, That's exactly you know, what chaos is. It's yes, creativity it's creativity. It's like it's freedom. It's, yeah. it's it doesn't have the structures. I'm not saying structure's not good. I I like structure. Okay, but it's my structure. It's it's an agreed upon structure. It's not the, and and it's a structure that and anymore we could change. You know, but I get to change it. How, I, how is the structure if it changes? The structure it's it's temporary structure. Because the only you thing know, that I is just, constant yeah. is change. It's and and some of it might be permanent. But I'm saying I think chaos is something that is not to be feared. So uh, I think they're right that anarchy could bring chaos. Okay, right. so what what is what is chaos? What is order then? Order is fear that derives upon predictability, I believe. Like mm. Yeah, I think the fear is probably the yes. original. Knowing what to expect, yeah. when to expect right. it, how yeah. to deal with I it. I don't think it's so bad to have some order. Predictability is nice in yeah. your life at some it point. It is. It's right. Yeah. You know what to expect, but to the point of comfort where it's relied upon. How, did, how yeah. much do you think it, it relies on on authority or control or the illusion of of such? What so what is expected of you order? What you're you're expected like, to do? I I I see order as ultimately this uh, this reaction to um, the lack of control. People feel out of control, and so they clamor for for order for, and uh, to authority to yeah. But what? Why? Oh, you then you're saying all control, even if it's voluntary control, is bad. I it, think voluntary uh, control is a contradiction. Yeah. Why? No, why? Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, why? No, no, see, to me, well, a control is just a predefined direction or a box or a set of guidelines. That's control. You're I, I like, I like predefined direction. Yeah, but, yeah. but yeah. who's in the box and who decides who's in the box? Right. Yeah. That, I, think, it, I think you're on, like, a good if one. If it's my with, control uh, of my environment, I'm... And the your environment right? isn't I'm in control then, which means you're vo- it's not voluntary I, for your environment. If I have a business and I create systems, okay, by which things Systems happen. for whom? System systems for control. the business. Yes, it's, it is. It's called, oh, believe me, is it is control. control. It's business. basically, yes, it it's just, it's something, a standard to, to fall against when things... That's control. Because if you didn't have any systems... Oh, then this person could do this, and this person could do that, and, it's, and I'm not saying that's bad. What do you mean, the, this person or a, that person? You said it's for yourself, so you could do no, this, business, or you could I'm do my that. My business, I'm putting it into my business. Has Our, certain aren't systems put in place? Is just like a kind of direct so you're trying to control loss. other people. Then it's, it's a control. It's it's a it's a control mechanism to control people to believing in the same thing that oh we we've got a system. So by you're which forcing belief on people now. If you're working for somebody, yeah, they have, they too, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, not forcing. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to, you know, yeah, to, to make, I'm, I'm trying to get the, some clarity here, that's but all. No, I'm just okay. saying, yes, you, yes, you don't force it on them. You, it's part, you're part of the, the system by which you do, you, you're all in it to make this product. 
and you want to make it as efficiently as possible, okay? And so you have systems by which you create something efficiently, and you teach the next person to do it So again, you're, you're defining order by control, though. Yeah, it is. I'm saying it's controlling. Yes. That's what I was saying. Oh, okay. I, I don't understand why we're <laughs> disagreeing. Like uh, all right, so <laughs> since since today is Star Wars... But you were forced, saying there was voluntary for, control. It's voluntary right. control. Yeah. It is voluntary. It's a control that people choose to because That's they the make controls know. aren't voluntary. Well, but this... but. But if you work for somebody, it's the, voluntary. I mean, you're, you're choosing. They're, they're like, not, that's sort of like not, saying taxes. The controls aren't voluntary, voluntary though. Always. Whether you work there is voluntary. Yes, whether you work there is voluntary. Yes. But, but the controls yeah. themselves yeah. aren't. The systems is voluntary. No, because you, you're, you're working there because you at least uh, believe that you should do what it is to make that product. You should do? Should? Yes, should. should. Yes, when you're in an environment of a corporation, you should do that. I don't understand the word should. Um, you're required It's another control mechanism. Yeah. mechanism. Should. Um, <laughs> well, if you're going to make the product as efficiently as it has been deemed to be made with these things, you should do those processes. So I think yes. really what it comes down to is the differentiation between what is needed in order for something to function properly yeah. as opposed yes. to this is the way that we want it done. There's a huge difference. What is, what is, well, what is, uh, is no, but properly? Well, okay, more efficiently or maybe right. more productively or mm -hmm. functionally. Right. So then there's a like process and that systems, controls there, it. There are just some like science. Right. There are steps that you take because that's, it's what's needed. It's not because it's, we have to do it this way or we don't want to do it this way. That's the way it's just done. That's what we know. That's you argue that. Come on, Steve. <laughs> I, <laughs> not. I, I, I'm sitting here, okay. So I think the problem, the reason why everybody, I, I think just to me like, I, I think chaos versus order, this is like a basic thing. This is really down deep in, like, probably not reptilian brain, but it's close. It's getting down there. It's, it's pretty deep. But, uh, so, so chaos, the thing about, the reason why people think of chaos is like, uh, I don't know about chaos, it's because just the way we've been educated, the, the narrative, what, when you watch the TV, chaos is synonymous, might as well be synonymous with, like, People throwing Molotov cocktails and riots. The opposite of well, that's no, that's yeah. organization, that's, though, that's, because somebody had to come up with a plan for the Molotov cocktails. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. See, that's yeah. the thing. Is that, but that's the that's the the synonym that people mm -hmm. are. And there has to be something want. to throw the Molotov cocktails mm -hmm. at. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that, that's the that that, the, that kind of action doesn't arrive out of you know out of nothing. That's where we're that's where we're burdened mm -hmm. with. That word chaos and, and, and anarchy is synonymous but with see, chaos too. So we're so in a way we're burdened with that. You, so you so the, the, the definitions of the words that we use, maybe changing the language and the way that yeah. we express. Oh our yeah, no, I mean that's that's, that's definitely our, part of educating. Well, that's yeah. what we can see with like we can actually look at that and say historically anarchy has been uh, in the various dictionaries. The first definition is uh, basically the absence of rulers or. Yeah. Uh, uh, no archons, right? So, uh, and number two would be a state of chaos. Right. And uh, you can go online right now and you can actually see now the various online dictionaries have chaos in the first. So, wow. the, as part so there's, of this, there is an, yeah. there is an, yeah. there is an wow. so they're taking a word that you can infer or, or, or glean the actual definition. It's etymologically pure. That is that the, the definition is in the word itself in, mm -hmm. in the Greek form. Mm -hmm. No monarchy. So, right, so, right, yeah, but, right. so, but they have, they're dumbing that down and putting in, yeah. which and is, I, you, you know have what? to, you have to infer. So now we say you have chaos to infer is from, good. No, now the, we you go have to on infer, a campaign. The context. You have to infer, yeah. in order to come up with a state of chaos, right, you have to, that is basically some mental masturbation, some high, some uh, gymnastics are going on to be able to say, without the, without the, um, <laughs> without archons, you might have a state of chaos, right? And they put made that the number two, but not on the human level. That uh, who is your ruler, if any, does not dictate control or, or I'm sorry, order or chaos on the human level, on the individual level. No, they try to though. That's the propaganda. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Now, do they have to chaos and order? They don't have to be exclusive of one another. No. Or does a panel? Yeah, no, I agree. Does a yeah. panel up there think they should? 
I, I, I think uh, there is, because since we're talking about chaos, I guess this comes into chaos theory, that there is order within the chaos, and there's chaos within the order, and then there is order within the chaos, and there's chaos within the order. Like, it's just... You know, it's yeah, and so it, It's not something to be feared. Not it's not feared. Chaos yeah. is a beautiful, creative process. Mm-hmm. Not to be feared. And I think we have an opportunity to actually... You know, they want to um, peg chaos on anarchy. Well, it's enough. Well, let them do it. Let them do it, and mm-hmm. we'll say, yeah, chaos is beautiful. What a beautiful process. Rebranding. Yes. <laughs> and exactly, I'm a marketer. And changing so, yes, the definition. Yep. It is. Maybe just using Chaos is language. beautiful. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's a beautiful, creative process. Oh Why gosh. would we want to thwart that? We but need to make chaos T-shirts. Yeah. Chaos yeah. T-shirts. Yes, totally. Instead of obey. But that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's a good one. That's great. That's the difficult part yeah. though is when people get hung up on the definitions of words and well, it's they like do, why but that's am I going to argue do. that fuck this? obey embrace the chaos yeah. 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 Oh, and it's then good. It's might be on to something there John you guys ever see Get Smart Get Smart oh man Get Smart he was always fighting chaos that was the organization of evil okay wow that 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 strained my memory a little bit I've seen a couple episodes but I don't yeah I don't know so I mean it was on like Nick at Night and Five o'clock in the morning, so that was my Enjoy reference that? to it. Uh, get, smart. get smart. Oh, I remember oh, Get I Smart never, oh. with the The bad guys were literally <laughs> chaos. Oh, that's right. You were right. Yeah. I, oh my gosh. And well, and and headquarters was called Control. Yes. You're right. <laughs> he takes off his shoe. Hello, yeah, Control. Hello, Can right. you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Oh you God. know, and that's the other thing is that like, you know, it doesn't really need to be said, I guess, for everybody here, but you know, somebody stumbled onto this video on YouTube or something is that almost every tyrant just will use some derivative of the word order mm-hmm. you know when they're getting into being mm-hmm. the guy who's going to be the guy who wears the new the, world order yeah, yeah. Order. you know the in order they, you know there's oh I mean and think about every story you've almost ever read like from you when you're a child that's essentially the thing is chaos versus order. You know, uh, Star Wars. What's what's the Galactic Empire? Because it's May the Fourth be with you. Uh, is it yeah, May the Fourth oh, yes. be with you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Today. Today. This oh, week. Oh. Yeah, this week. Yeah. May, uh, okay. But yeah. So I mean, I mean, what is what is uh, what is the Emperor all about? Darth Vader all about order. You know, we got to bring order to the galaxy. You I don't know. know. Uh, the good guys were the rebellion, though. Well, right. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, though. Is but that's still that's the that's the back and forth. Is that oh, yeah, in these yeah. stories, it's always it gets down to basic. It's always chaos versus order. Yeah. The bad yeah. guys usually are order, and the good guys are usually chaos in the older stories. Mm-hmm. But as you get into the modern day, it's starting to switch around. That's right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's really well. It's, yeah. I think well, in a bad yeah, way, yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. in, in a negative way, it's starting to switch <laughs> yeah. around that the good guys are oh. are order and the bad guys are chaos. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, oh, okay. you think of it like any old mythology story it's always the the bad guy is the one who's like the supreme controller you know all that yeah you know. interesting analysis I like that no. i don't know about that uh, uh, okay all right all right we could argue that <laughs> no, i mean there, there's room to argue I, I said nearly ever every story i didn't say every story no, you can definitely see a general trend though like or at least there is to, to religious stories often the bad guy is chaotic hmm. oh like loki Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Loki wasn't really a bad guy, though. Right. But, but he was. But that was that uh, was kind chaos. of the problem. Is that there wasn't really a bad guy, good guy in most ancient religions. Mm. Yeah, um, it's kind of used as an example. There was just pro god and anti god. Like Prometheus got, got, uh, right. fucked up for, <laughs> for providing humans with fire. Yeah. In defiance of the gods, so he was a bad guy because he was against the gods. Yeah, they, for the people. Yeah, they, they that that was a pretty brutal punishment for Prometheus. There. Yeah. <laughs> Prometheus, brutal Eternal. punishment. Uh, yeah, but it, it it seems that to me that that's kind of like generally what we get down to. Like I'll uh, I'll give it like a a kind of a little bit of fairly modern example is like uh, Assassin's Creed game title. Okay, so the uh, the assassins. Are okay. So both sides, the, you know, it's the, the the good guys are the assassins, bad guys are Templars, except for some of the later games. The Templars are a good one than like one of them. But um, or but the thing is, is um, like the Knights Templar. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's that's the theme. Is like that's kind of what they're talking about. Yeah. You know, it's it's a historical fiction, but it's it's pretty good. 
so they uh so the both sides want peace that's both the like what they say is that we want peace so but the assassins are much more for like well people should be free and figure it out for themselves Whereas the Templars are like, well, we also want peace, but we have to make sure that it's guided, that people are safe, and we guide them in the right direction. So that is that's very very basic chaos versus order right yeah. there, you know. And I think that's. But is it forced? Are the people following voluntarily, or uh, well, voluntarily but, but ignorantly? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly yeah. right. What's, right. What's so. this? Voluntarily but ignorantly. Yeah, the well, idea is forced upon them because they don't know better. Yeah, but are we supposed? To, I mean, no, like we accept public education because we think without yeah, but it would be we're chaos. We're starting to wake wake up though on that, and so as people are waking up, we? that will, <laughs> many people, the, the many people I know people and have here experienced. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> I think a lot of people are waking up. No, I, 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 I agree with that. I generally speaking, up. that there is a. Uh, Great awakening. Yeah, yeah. It's it's awakening. Like, yeah. Uh, and even even Zbigniew yeah. Zabritsky has said that exactly, yeah. right? You know what I mean? So it's not new Renaissance. Yeah, well, he was yeah. saying it. I think in more of a fearful yeah. sense of uh, uh, the world having a great political awakening, and that being a destabilizing uh, element for the people he's speaking to. Yeah. You know well, I mean, right? well, of course, it'd be destabilizing. Yeah. And, and something I've noticed, you know, talk about, you know, awakening uh, to, people, to a small People start is realizing that, shit's fucked up, and they're going to be yeah, like, hey, shit's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean... <laughs> That's going to disable the, the shit. <laughs> if, you, if you talk to somebody who's, you know, was born after 9-11, which is, you know, fairly young, or at least when they were very young when it happened, most of those kids you talk to, they're like... Oh yeah, 9-11, that shit ain't real. Most of them. Some of them still wow. buy it. Some of them still buy it, but most of them are like, oh, wait, wait so, so two buildings fell down. <laughs> Straight down. The exact down. same fashion. Yeah, yeah, and then a third and one, then a, a block, block away. It wasn't even touching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, I mean, no, seriously, like, a lot of those kids, like, not all of them, some of them still buy it, but I'm saying, I've talked to a number of them, and they're just like, oh yeah, that's bullshit. You yeah. know, like, it's just blatantly like, that ain't real. You know, like, and they don't hesitate, because to them it's not a taboo. People our age, it's kind of like a taboo to be like, oh, You're 9-11. You're a terrorist if you think right. otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but which is funny because I mean you know public schools pretty bad nowadays and they have yes. like I mean they're prisons now they got cameras and mm-hmm. gates. Have and you shit. read yeah. a history book lately? Yeah, it's complete BS. Yeah. <laughs> like a new one, new one? Well, I mean, because when I was in school, they were still years. pretty bad. But, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, fifteen years at least. Well, there's one aspect, right? We do have a, a fairly recent uh, uh, civics book, you can call it American Government, whatever. In its high school level, social, social studies. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh my god! <laughs> but the, the, social the, studies. The point is, is like the, so. These books are glossy pages and big blocks, you know, colors and yeah. massive, you know, corner to corner pictures and less words on it than. than There's like little blocks was, of right? data. It is like, like yeah, this yeah, is a high remember. school. Well, well, U.S. government book, mm-hmm. right? You know, in fact, I should go in and grab it after this. Well, just to show y'all, it is like it's ridiculous, and then. The, the size of the letters, and, and I have seen examples of what would have been a U.S. government book, even as recently as the 50s or 60s, and you're talking about a completely different feel. This is straight up for, you know, yeah, lowest common denominator. You know. I have an, I have an old people docile and industrious. So, but, but that brings up, so education, that's like, to me, the... The quintessential order. control, mm-hmm. yes, in order. Well, that, so, and it should be the great and, liberator. No, but I mean, so we really, yeah. so reading, let's, okay, you guys know I don't like to read, right? <laughs> so reading to me is the quintessential order. It's like I'm taking somebody else's, the, and wow, you just gave me this new order, you know, and mm-hmm. things, the story, whatever. It, in, I didn't in have that, that before, that like so it's like I'm right. volunteering. You get that all the time it. anyway. I know, but it's I'm, just not from books. Those are art, like yeah, but more that's TV, like that's movies, that. that's that's pictures, yeah. that's magazines. Right. Okay, but but in this yeah. in this sense, I feel like that's more archetype structures that that are already out there, and you take them, and your idea of the world uh, takes on the shape of these archetypes. And uh, I don't. I don't think that's anybody trying to control you. That's just the way that humans think non-verbally. Is that not a form I'm, of I, manipulation? I, though? I hmm. yes, I think it is. It is, but I yeah. don't think it's. I don't think it, it's. Well, it's it's bad, or that it's. Um, hmm. It's just. I mean, it, it is control, though. Bad. So yeah. I guess where I'm coming from is just. I don't just as I 
think chaos should not be looked at as bad. I don't think some order is bad either, you know? I think chaos and order go together, but we don't have to be <coughs> fearful of chaos, and we don't have to be fearful of some order, as long as they're both voluntary. You I think, know? Co I think order and chaos are all about perspective. Yeah, very good point. I, you know, and then, uh, School for a student is very chaotic. It is. Yeah. Well, I guess, well, or... Yeah. Yeah, being forced Orderly. to learn something yeah, you're not interested in, exactly. and then you it's fail, like, and then you're not yeah, like to the yeah. other students in your class. You and your stories self esteem about goes it. down. Like, oh, and you feel yeah. 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 Or you're doing really well, but not actually learning anything. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know how to uh, beat the Get system. By, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 yeah. Yeah. Manipulate. Just <laughs> figure it out. I mean, there's something to be learned to beating systems, too, so, you know. But it, the system is bad. That's just yeah. not real. Learning. But to set up a mandatory system that you have to beat, mm -hmm. or just uh, uh, with arbitrary rules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's so much more that the potential that we could use that time for other things. Yeah. It's like, you know, Spare stupid right. information getting shoved into our brains. Fast food and fast yeah. information, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So we treat our bodies like, bad with fast food and we treat our minds bad with fast information. Yeah, right? you know, like, like food deserts. Yeah. It's uh, it's an information desert. Yeah, yeah. it's it's not, not nu Potent nutrition, yeah. it's just yeah. crap that went in there, you know? By somebody's determination of what people are supposed to know. I mean, it's like, um, you know, there are some good things that came out of it. Technology, I, I'm not gonna poo-poo some of the good things, but I think, yeah. by and large, there, you know, a lot of information is in there that is what are you talking about? Just, what do you, what just do you mean? learning. Just general learning. General Learning stuff. is different than schooling. No, no, okay, schooling. General schooling. Oh, yes. okay. Not the learning. Like government part of schooling. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Government mandated. Government schooling. mandated stuff. Board of Education, you gotta learn oh. this stuff. The and tests gotta look like this. And you, th and you think about like the, the different way that people used to learn was, you know, like essentially just. I hear this book is good. Somebody told me to read it. I'll read it. You know, not necessarily told like what to think about it. You know, mm -hmm. but you know, and then you got to keep in mind like back when uh, information people was were still taught like the trivium. Yeah, you know, and, like and the what? What's the trivium? The trivium is a, a kind of uh, system that helps you to get to properly understand things. So it's three. It's three different thing. subjects. Yeah, we yeah, all no, did. We all did. <laughs> okay. Unless you went to like, Co so, okay. Chen, Kent, oh, Cho, oh, Cho Lawrence. Well, they do like yeah. NBC Trivium. Well. What's that? Trivium. Trivium. Yeah, Trivium. Here we go. Like integrating oh, with NBC. Sure. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Huh. Yakko. But it's three. It's a, it's three subjects essentially that help you to understand. Everything. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Actually, so it's it's, it's a way of thinking. Basically. Right. Yeah. It's, right. it, it, there, it's essentially a, a way of teaching people to think. Uh, what, where, why, grammar, why? logic, yeah, rhetoric, and the, the, or the, w, the actual trivium. Okay. And then you've got four more called the quadrivium, and they are have to do with number, number and space and time, number and time, number and space, number and space and time. It's, it's like geometry, music. Uh, Geometry, music. Physics. Physics meaning science, I think. Yeah, I, I don't recall the f other four, but first, primary was trivium, and then it went on to the quadrivium. So that's kind of a control of mind thought to get to a, to a certain end. It's so it actually, an idea. actually. Yeah, but that's an idea. It's control. You're controlling your mind thought. You're, you're but there's, it's a, there's, different, there's different forms of the trivium right. in, in reality. It's true. Uh, and uh, there certainly is models out there that were used to uh, keep your your logic stream in a certain circle, right. so to speak. Yeah. For instance, there's a classical trivium, and then there's a couple of other ones, ones used typically by Christian schools today, and there are some that aren't. So, um, yeah, you can run with that. I'll have to look into that. And I, I guess, uh, you know, it's... The only thing that I have to add on to that is that that trivia method is incredibly old. Like that goes oh, yeah. that goes way back. You know, for anybody watching, it's like trivium. That's how do you spell it? That's trivium. That's trivium. That that goes back to like 
Greece. Well, I, yeah, I have yeah. a book by John Salisbury well, called Greek. The Middle East. Yeah, I know, so I'm saying, like, that, that's what I'm just explaining, that it's, it's Greek, and that's yeah. how far back it goes, yeah. So. You have a book written in the 1200s called The Metalogicon by Greek John, and Latin. There's John okay. Salisbury about Thank it, actually. Sorry. No, that's good. It's good that I wanted to get it. Because I wasn't schooled at one of those schools. Yeah, <laughs> so we're we're not not in present company. I went to public school. No, but I want to go. I wanted to go. What was the name of the book? This, the, the private John school. Salisbury. Which Salisbury, the Metalogicon. Okay. But so they cut. They they essentially cut that out of the schooling because uh, then with with these tools, you can't as easily control what people think yeah. because they can think for themselves. So teach your children this trivium, trivium, trivium. Yeah. I mean that's. We talk about, you know, in the education system, learning it. I just never knew that's what it was called. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, it was, that's what they used to teach the kids in Athens and Rome and Delphi. And yeah, there was actually a, yeah. a debate between, is it Demosticles and Isocles, I whatever it is. Uh, Isocles? No, uh, <laughs> but there was it makes a, sense. That's a Isocles, right? Yeah. It had to, it had to do, yeah, sorry. It had, no. to, it had to do with whether yes. sophistry... So they were sophists, right? And they were same debating. Word, same, same root word as sophisticated. Right, right. So they, so there was one was thought that sophistry should be taught to everyone so that they couldn't be fooled and it would improve the lot of humanity. Mm -hmm. And the other one's like, no, they're lost. Forget about them. Use it to control them. You know, <laughs> yeah, right? So we know who went out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know who that what the argument was about. If there was like a letter or something. Yeah. Right? That described that out because that'd yeah. be very interesting. You're reading that, yeah. yeah. The nerdy one I'm, I'm going to read one of these days is, is Voltaire's letters from England. Mm -hmm. That that's kind of an obscure one. That a lot of the times that was, that's described as like the spark to the French Revolution before mm -hmm. it even like happened. But it was the intellectual sort of like, hey, you know, in England they can kind of say whatever they want. And then when the letters Voltaire's letters from England got to France, they're just like. Well, I can see whatever they want over there. Oh, wow. Why can't they do that here? You know, that, I want to read that one these days. But, you know, I think, think that's, um, but I guess I was just thinking about, like, older writings and, and thinking about, like, how, you know, the way we're given information today is so much different. You know, if, um, he, if he knew that that was, it, he had the plan to write that and send it to somebody in France, he's huh. probably like, and this sentence could start a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's putting pen oh, to wow. paper, like, wow. Yeah, I mean, if he, yeah, if he only knew. It's probably best he didn't, because that would be, like, for well, some really, like, know. scratchy handwriting, like, oh, hell, what the hell am I doing, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh... We have no idea what we're doing. Well, most most of our most of our information comes through glowing triangles or glowing triangles, rectangles. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, glowing rectangles. Think about that. We're that's that's. We're not the mean, Illuminati, Mike. We yeah. don't use triangles. Glowing triangles. Uh, glowing rectangles. You know, glowing rectangles. 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 Glowing Trust your mind, know your value, and strive to have no pretenses. Yeah. No, I like yeah. that. I like yeah. that. That's right. good. Yeah. And I always go back that's to that when we have these conversations. Yeah, it, it, and I, I guess I mentioned the the glowing uh, rectangle thing because think about that. That's all fairly new to like human society within a hundred years. Pretty, yeah. So think about that. We're getting most of our information from <laughs> bright, 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 bright light that, of course, attracts your attention because in nature yeah. you don't see bright lights too often. So you're looking at it, and then so whatever they're saying, all of a sudden, like it's kind of it, it's already it being entered into your brain as being. Like so much different and more yeah. intense because you're not used to looking at the glow triangle, at least evolution wise. Rectangle. 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 Did I say triangle again? Yeah. Oh, I got down. Rectangle. But maybe, maybe it's supposed to be a triangle. Huh? Maybe we're supposed to invent a triangle. Mm, I don't know. They, the triangle the, is usually a, like a sign of warning, like, like uh, you don't enter yet. Yeah. Or, I don't know, it's on the back of the money for what's that's worth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Yeah. Kind of creepy, but that mm -hmm. that's a whole, that's a whole never another different show. Hey, should we just give in and do an episode called the New World Order? Maybe we'll get some more oh, views that way. <laughs> <laughs> should we just give in and yeah. do an episode like that? I don't know. Maybe we should. That would it be will, an interesting one. I don't think it'll be as cool as, and flashy as Alex Jones, but no, it won't be. But let's hear your Alex Jones voice. Oh, Alex Jones. Oh. um... God damn it! Uh, what's? Oh yeah. Sounds serious. Oh, uh, uh, there's a. Uh, uh, 
there's radiation in the water from Fukushima. It's going across the Pacific Ocean. This is really bad, people. Do you understand? I've got the documents that say everything about this. <laughs> we'll talk about this more after commercial. Commercial break, literally iodine pills. InfoWars <laughs> brand iodine pills. And iodine pills are supposed to be a thing that protect your thyroid from cancer from radiation. So literally he's getting you all scared. And look at this. There's all this radiation coming across the Pacific with cancer. No, 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 no. InfoWar brand iodine. That's fucking... That's disgusting. It's just disgusting. It's just gross. Uh, oh, boy. It would be even worse if he was Bill Hicks, too. <laughs> he is Bill Hicks. Yeah, 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 there's, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's the, probably he, the most. He confessed to it. There's, there's probably the most obscure. I, heard, I think I heard that too. I am Bill Hicks. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't know. I think it's just because I, I got the documents, Mike. <laughs> I, I, think, I think he said it. I think Bill Hicks would have more respect for himself than to be Alex Jones. <laughs> I really do. Oh, man. You know, that's coming from, like, that guy, and Bill Hicks was an incredibly bad drug addict, I think. If somebody asked Bill Hicks to be Alex Jones, he'd be like, no. No, I can't do that. That's too crazy. I, I can't handle that shit with a straight face. Yeah. That and, he, and Bill Hicks would be so much older than Alex Jones is right now. <laughs> and I don't believe that Alex Jones has had that much plastic surgery or whatever. So... Because if you have that much plastic surgery, you don't really Mike, smile. he works for the Illuminati. He works for the Illuminati, a... goddammit. He's not just a con <laughs> man. He's in there. Okay, sure. You've got their own medical system, yo. <laughs> the Jews. <laughs> the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, there, there, there's, I mean, there's some people that, like, listen to Alex Jones, and they're just convinced that it's, like, the Jews running shit. Like, whatever that means, really. There is some serious as to that though well okay so do you want like I, you can really now you can really come down to where that uh where that all starts well it, Rothschild is Jewish right yeah <laughs> right yeah no but okay so the, yeah there is it's like, as much Jesuit as it is Jewish yeah right? that's true too right well that that's the all Zionist movement too though right yeah, yeah but yeah. they want to promote that because it gets everybody behind them right well, and divides them. Okay, but when it really comes down to it, I might be okay for like the order if like they, you know, made cheap robots that I, you know, that I could buy might, yeah. and that could work. What if they caused cancer? Oh, cancer causing <laughs> robots. Sex robots. Death, ah, death by causing. snoo snoo. <laughs> so it's an STD and a cancer. <laughs> yeah. That's terrifying. Death <laughs> by snoo snoo. Well, they have a vaccine for cancer now, right? Oh HPV God. or some shit, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what it's actually for. Is yeah. HPV. Oh. Anyway. I have one of those on my finger. Good night. Good night, everybody.